lockdown. I think this is video 13 we've done from lockdown. So 13 uh, lockdown classes so far, still going strong. Yeah. And we, <laughs> we'll be stopping for a while. Yeah. I don't know. And uh, today was Malonga, so party dance. Um, so we discussed about the rhythms of Malonga, the idea of Malonga Lisa, Fraspi, the links to Chenyenge, the links to Tango, uh, the differences in whether you're grounded or up. Um, and how much of it is personal choice and, and, yeah. and where malongas come within a malonga as well. Yeah. Uh, so the, the like tandas if you're doing like four of them. And also some of the other rhythms, uh Argentinian rhythms that you'll see which are faster, which are a bit like malonga as well. So we have lots of discussion in this class. Um obviously uh, malonga, even though it's not a dance by itself, it can be considered mm -hmm. it. And because of the music and the way it's danced um, seems to be very conducive to learn it in like sort of patterns and sequences, so modifications on boxes. Mm -hmm. So we started off with that. So we discussed also about if you can be able to dance sideways around the room or in either dance. So we started off with the balanceo on the left foot. We talked about the importance of the balanceo and good technique for it. A back step on the right for the leader, so forward for the follower, a side step for the leader to the left, taking two steps outside, so I'm stepping forward on my right, stepping out, back in line with the follower, side step to the uh, right, change of weight onto the left foot, and then we're ready to go again. So this was our basic box. We talked about you could do it with dragging the feet like we just did then, or we, what our own personal preference is, and is actually lifting the feet while doing this. And because of the speed of Malonga, or perceived speed of Malonga, uh, you normally take much smaller steps while doing this. So that was the basic box, and we just mainly worked on that through the uh, class. So we started by looking at what the side steps. Oh, actually, first of all, we started to do time, the timings, which we already discussed between um, Lisa and Traspi, so double time and single time, and even quadruple time. Um, so we added in some side steps. So from our normal side steps to the left, we can do multiple side steps from before going back into our step outside. And obviously we've got this right hand step or right side step. And we can do multiple side steps inside. We talked about not rocking through the body. Well, rocking through the body like we do in the balance rather than just yeah, rocking your chest. Rock, rocking your chest, that's something totally different. We did discuss that some people will do stylistically. Or as an accent point. Or as an accent, but not as you have to even follow, so good technique, it should be the basis of it. Uh, we had a look at like little taps to the side, so um, again from the side step, I can choose to take the follower, lead her to, as if I'm going to take it to a side step, and then withdraw it, so it's more like a rebound to the side, and we've got options to either bring it back in and then go up in the forward step, or back step, or we could do this side step, transfer the weight after, and then move back into our usual box. So we've got those little taps there. Um, because we've got effectively a rock step to the side, we must also have rock steps to the front, so again we'll do this sideways on. So from our forward step, we can rock the weight here. This can be rotated in either direction. We can add a little decoration, so I can bring the front foot in front, and so I can have some repair front foot. We can do front foot, I mean, sorry, back foot uh, into a back cross behind. We can even sink this down and go lower with it and come back up. Alison tends to have her little decorations that she does in this where she taps the foot and puts the, and taps the heel. So, little variations, um, personal preference. Uh, your expression of what you gave in it. Finally, we looked at if you go to to a workshop on Malonga and there's a couple of do a demo at the end of it or if you search demo couples on YouTube. We taught a little sequence that these people tend to do. It's a very showy type of mm -hmm. one. It involves the layers, a cross step and a tap to the side. So and quite a lot of rotation um, for the hot followers' hips as well. Yeah. So we took it from a side step to the left, so this could be after the back step, side step to the left, a twist in the chest to the left and bring the chest up like we would do with non below, so below for the follower. As we pick the follower through, we step through, so in almost Americana, opening up, doing the tap, and then reverse it. So I'm sending the follower back as if I'm going to take it back into a back off joke, but I'm going to step back in behind. And then I'm going to transfer my weight onto my right foot, 
as I take it back into a blue. And what I do as many of these, I can even do like a truss the tap on the other side, and we can do as many of these as want to, or I can even do my own back below to match my follower. The uh, possibilities are endless. We did discuss some other possibilities at the ends, things like this side step to the left, forward change of weight and back. Uh, so there's moves like that. Great vines, like great vines, which are sort of like heroes led uh, sideways. So no longer, it takes a lot of experimentation, you get a lot of you get used to the rhythms of just seeing what is possible. Like we wouldn't suggest some of the big sweeping moves that you would normally do if you dance ta uh, tangos or leg wraps and stuff yeah. like that, even though they can be done and yeah. can be used to emphasize the point. So for instance, if we, I was doing this back to layer and we change the weight, instead of doing this little tap to the side, we can center up into the leg wrap. So the layer. Mm -hmm. So it's things like that you can do. Um, so let's have a play with it and see what it's like. Anyway, we hope you're all keeping safe and we hope you will join us for um, our classes in the future. Please check out our Facebook page. We even have Malongas and guest teacher workshops coming up with blues and all that sort of stuff. And the Malongas have live music, as we say. How many people come off for that at this time? Yes. And you're safe here in your home. Yeah. We have so much talk about people trying to run events with fixed partners, like why don't you throw your company to your home, yes. home and experience other people's music. So we hope you can join us, we hope you keep them safe, and we'll see you soon. Thank you for watching this Urban Tango Nights recap. If you like these videos, please subscribe to our channel by clicking the logo. You can find more of our class summaries down here, and other videos of us dancing tango over here. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and Meta, links are in the description below, and you can also subscribe to our newsletter using the link below.